What is going on guys, it's Asha here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reacting to um, the FA Cup final and the 6-0 win Man City have just got over Watford, which is absolutely incredible f for us uh, because it means that we get Europa League football, which is absolutely incredible. Um, we've just got to take this opportunity and run with it now. We really have to. If you asked... Um, the majority of the Wolves fans um, at the start of the season, they would have happily taken, um, they would probably would have happily taken um, 17th um, in the league. And um, they'd probably say mid-table would be a decent fit, uh, a, d a decent finish uh, for, the, for the first season back. To, to get 7th and to get Europa League football is just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, effort all season. Like I say, we've just got to take this opportunity and run with it now. We really have to take this opportunity and run with it. Um, because who knows where it could lead us? Who knows where it could lead us? Um, obviously, the qualifying starts really early. Um, I think we come at the second qualifying round, which is at the end of July. Um, so, yeah, the the um, Europa League season uh starts uh, a good couple of weeks before the Premier League starts so um, our season definitely um, starts early that is for sure. I read uh, I read an interview um, on, on the Express and Star um, earlier today um, uh, about Jeff Shee and he said young players will definitely uh, play, um, young players will, will definitely play um, a big role um, in in the uh, campaign in in Europe, um, and that is is true. That is true. We'll need to be. We'll need to as well as, well as the experience like Gian Martino. We'll also need to uh, call upon the, the the youth when needed. Obviously, Morgan Gibbs White um, being um, one of the prominent um, youth prodigies coming out of the, the Wolves youth, youth academy that will probably need to um, rely on to step up um, the most probably. But it's an incredible opportunity, and um, and for most fans venturing into the Europa League, it it um, gives you away days that you all you you never thought you would ever experience, like places like in places like Kazakhstan, um, um, places you never thought to go to go for to to go to uh, before, um, but you do because of the Europa League. Um, and places like Wales and Ireland, you probably only go th only go there um, for your holidays. You don't really go there to watch a Europa League game. <laughs> uh, you don't really go there to watch your Europa League game. So, it's as I've said multiple times, it's an incredible opportunity, and um, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can take it and run with it now. Um, uh, and hopefully, um, hopefully it shouldn't um, affect uh, our Premier League performance uh, too dearly. But obviously, if we get deep into the competition and we have a really good run um, in the competition, then it could prove uh, a problem. Uh, it could pr prove potentially a problem, and um, we may uh, see our form in the Premier League slip a little, um, as obviously we saw with Burnley. Who it's a, it's nice for a club like Burnley to get it into the Europa League, but Obviously, they're never really gonna be able to handle it, and um, and they're ne never really be gonna be able to juggle the Europa League and the Premier League at the same time. So, um, so obviously for them, um, it was quite damaging for them in the Premier League, and um, luckily they, they managed to survive in the end. But, um, hopefully, um, hopefully the Europa League adventure, uh, the European adventure, um, isn't too detrimental to our uh, our Premier League. Uh, our Premier League form, um, and hopefully uh, we can have a, a good adventure uh, and a good old European tour. Uh, but yeah, it's it's absolutely incredible, and um, yeah, I cannot I cannot wait for the adventure to start. Really, I really cannot wait. I'm not sure when I'll see you next. I'll probably um, uh, see you um, in a couple of weeks, maybe uh, for uh, for some Eng England games. But now the season's finished, I'm kind of short of video ideas. But, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Anyway, um, 
I'll see you in a couple of weeks or so um, with another video. Until then, goodbye guys!